Hi guys. Smarty here. From the channel Smartest Ranger. Previously, we published videos. How can we convert any electrical diagram into a PLC program? And How can we convert any algebraic expression into a PLC program? If you have not seen our previous video, then go to our channel. Smartest Ranger. And take a look on these videos. Today we will learn. How can we make our own block or subroutine in PLC? Normally all types of necessary blocks available in library of every PLC software. If you need any other logic or you need to modify some block then you can make it. Making a new block is not a big deal. After seeing this video, we hope you will be able to make your own block or subroutine. Let's try to make a block, via using basic instructions. In example 1. We will try to make a simple. And gate block. We know that. Function of and block is. When all inputs high. Output will be high. If any input goes low. Output will be low. Ok, now we will make a block of this logic in a program. Open your software. Here we are using Siemens TIA portal. Open your project. Or you can create a new one. Open the project view. Now we'll make a new function block for creating. And logic. First define some tags here. These tags will be used internally. Since we are making and block. That's why we will create bool type tags. Consider we have three inputs and one output. Ok, now we know that in and logic. All inputs are inserted in series. So, insert three normally open contacts. And an output. Assign temporary tags to inputs and output. Our block is complete. Now we insert it on another block. And we'll check its behavior. Here you can see that. We require tags for inputs and output. You know we already defined some tags but those tags were generated one time only. And used internally in block. Now these tags will be used for physical testing, if you have physical inputs and outputs. Then you should use their physical address. Where you inserted in IOS card. And their address could be seen in hardware configuration. Ok now. Go to programming page. Attach tags with inserted block. Save the program. Download into simulator. Click on run button. Monitor on. Now we will give a high signal to all inputs. According to and gate logic. If all inputs are high, output will be high. Here you can see that, when we give a high signal to all inputs, output becomes high. Ok check. When we give a low signal to input 2, output also becomes low. And when again we give a high signal to input 2, output becomes high. Ok now we will give a brief overview of this block. Which we created. And now what is going on in that block. Arrange all open windows in vertical position. This is our internal block. Check when we enable our first input. Its specific internal contact becomes high. Similarly via enabling other inputs. Their internal contacts also becomes high. See when all inputs are high. Output also becomes high. And when we give a low signal to any input, output also becomes low. Ok guys. Now we will make another example. In which we will try to make a block. Which will calculate the average of all input values. Simple technique for calculating the average of input values is. When there is one input. Then formula for single input is. If there are two inputs, then formula will be input 1 plus input 2 divided by 2. 
Similarly formula for N inputs is input 1 plus input 2 plus input 3 and so on to input N divided by total number of inputs. Let's start to make an average block. Insert a function block window. Name it. Let's we make average block via using three inputs. Make internal tags for number of inputs and output. Now insert, and instruction. Because we have made real type tags. Select data type real. Add another input via using steric symbol. Attach tags for inputs. Ok now we will divide the sum of these inputs with 3. Because there are 3 inputs. That's why we will divide it with 3. So guys our block is complete for testing. Go to the location where you want to call this block. Ok here we will insert our newly made average function block. Here we need tags for live simulation. Go to tag table. Here we will make some real type tags. Three tags for inputs. And one tag for output. Here we are using memory tags. Means they do not belong to physical addresses. They are dummy addresses which we are using for simulation purpose. Ok now we will attach these tags with our average block. Save the program. Download into simulator. Click on run button. Monitor on. Apply any value on all inputs. Check here we are applying value 4 on all inputs. And this block is giving also 4 at output after calculation. Check when we apply 10 at input 2. Value at output is 6. Add all inputs. 4 plus 10 plus 4 is equal to 18. Now by dividing this value with 3. Result is 6. Means our block calculation is ok. Via changing value on input 1. Output also changed. So guys. You see how can we make a block via using our own logic. In example 3. We are going to modify an analog scaling block. In TIA portal. Scaling block is like this. Here we give an input value. High limit and low limit. And the block give result at output after calculation. Actually this block exists in every brand of PLC. But here we will add some more logic in this block. And see what happened. Insert a new function block. You can also create only function. What is the difference between them and where you can use these blocks? We will make another video on this topic in future. Here you can make a simple differentiation between them. Function blocks have dedicated memory. And only functions are without any dedicated memory. You are on learning stage. That's why you could take any block. Here first we insert a scale block from library. Make internal tags. Here you can see what types of tags we required. Make one integer type tag for input value. Two real type tags for high and low limits. One real type tag for output. One word type tag for return value. One bool type tag for bipolar pin. Attach tags with all inputs and outputs. Ok now, we will add our modification. We want when input signal value is in range. Its value will be calculatable. And output show. Scale is ok. Otherwise it's show that. Scale is not ok. For this we add one less than and one greater than comparator and an output attach tags in first comparator we are giving value 3 1 triple 0 and in second comparator we are giving value minus 500 make another tag for scale ok output now we will add some more logic in this block if input is not in range move low value to output 
For this insert a move instruction. Insert a normally close contact. Attach a scale OK tag with it. On move inside attach a low limit tag. At move out pin. Attach an out scale tag. OK now we want the final value in integer type value. So we use round instruction for this. Now we add another function. Where we will call this function block. Here insert our new modified block. Rename it. Here we need physical addresses. So now we will make tags for them. One tag for analog input. One tag for analog output. One tag for scale OK. Now we'll attach tags with this block. Give a high and low output as you want. We are giving limits value from 0.0, .0 to 150.0. Means our raw value will be calculated between 0, 0.0 to 150.0. Save the program. Download into PLC. Wait until completion of download. Click on run button. Monitor on. OK now check. Value at input is 0. And value at output is also 0. Now when value 6400 comes at input. Block scale it in given limits and shows result at output. Check here value is in range. That's why block is also showing scale OK. By giving a full raw value 32000, analog output reads 0 value. Because input value is reached above the high limit, which we inserted internally in the block. OK now when we give a value of minus 600. Then this block transfer zero value at output. And scale OK output signal also goes low. Again check. When we apply 27647. Block scale it and transfer 150 to the output. OK now we will check that. What is going on in internal of block? See our raw input value is 32,000, and in network 2. Logic is saying that. Input value must be less than 31,000. That's why, condition is not fulfilling. And scale OK output coil status is low. If we change analog input value. You see this value is fulfilling all requirements. That's why scale OK output coil energized. By applying zero value. Check the result. So guys. You see how can we make a block in PLC program. Again we are telling you that it depends on programmer. How he make a program. And how he plays with instructions. If you have any confusion. Or want any information about automation. Please leave a comment. We will try to give you the solution of your problem. For more informative videos, stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.